What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my 2015 Skeeter ZX250 bass boat. Alright guys, here's the boat. Let's get right into it. We'll start up front and work our way back. So here, right up front we have the Minn Kota 4 checks. It does have the US2 built-in transducer, so we don't have anything attached to the bottom of it. Working our way back here, we have a low ramps, HDS9, so Gen 2 Touch Edition. Works perfectly fine. A wonderful fish finder. Couldn't make, couldn't make it without the Lawrence fish finders. Part of the Ske Skeeter ZX250 features. There's a 12 volt power outlet here, so you can charge your phone while you're fishing. Then we got the trim and our uh, a navigational light switch. Here's the trolling motor foot pedal. I have a cool foot on it. It's a pretty cool sticker. It matches the color of the boat, as you can see. Beautiful color on the boat. Beautiful color scheme. I love it. Standard carpet, butt seat. Here's my dad's rod, so my rods are over there. So let's crawl up into the boat and we'll get in the farther detail. All right guys, so we made it up into the boat. I already covered the stuff up front. Now we'll get into rods and reels that we have laying out on the deck. For me, I'm all 13 fishing except for my spinning reel. I've got all concept day reels and all fake chrome rods. As far as lures I have tied on, on my bait casters, we have a jerk bait, a jig, a deep diving crankbait, and a fish head spin. And then on my spinning rod, it's a 13 fishing fake chrome just like the other rods, except I have a Shimano Shotic FK reel. It's, it has a drop shot on it, as you can see right there. Then, moving over on my dad's side, he has 13 fishing reels, but Abby Garcia rods. He uses Concept C reels and the Veritas 2.0 rods. His spinning rod is 13 fishing, it's the Omen Black. And he has the same reel as I do, the Shimano Stratic FK. Lures, we got a fish head spin, a jerk bait, swim bait, and a drop shot. Okay, let's move on to the middle tackle compartment. And here we keep most of our hard baits and most of our tackle. Starting up at the front, we have just some extra line we keep in the boat. Uh, we have some 30 pound braid, some little bit of fluorocarbon, some monofilament, then some more light fluorocarbon back here, 65 pound braid spare spool for our reels, and 25 pound fluorocarbon more spare spool. These, those spools are nice with 13 fishing because you can just plug them right into your reel and any concept reel those will go in. Next box this way up here, this is where we keep our spinner baits. Spinner bait fishing isn't that big on where the lakes we're fishing right now, so we only have a couple. It's not really sorted by any specific order. They're just kind of in there. Then moving on, we have our chatterbait box and I keep an A rig in here. There's the chatterbaits, all kinds of colors. There's the A-Rig and then there's the swim baits I usually put on it. Moving on, we have our top water odd slash soft baits. There's some pretty weird stuff in here. We got frogs up at the top and we got some buzz baits. And then check out these frogs. My grandpa got them, me, got them for me for Christmas as a joke, that I think. They got a little blade on the bottom of them. They're kind of funny. Then there's the octopus top water and a little rat lure. We don't, we never ever fish these, but it's just kind of funny. And then we have a, I don't really know what it's called. I think it's made by Lunker Hunt. It's like two spooks back to back. It's pretty cool. Those are just some odd top water lures. Moving on, we have our spoon box. Go out in the timber and linear and spoon. That bite just ended. Tons of spoons, all different kinds of colors. Just jigging spoons, keep those in there. All right, so here's our lipless and shallow crankbait box. They're all kind of slid down to the bottom. We got some Strike Kings, then some lipless. We got a, I think that's a Bass Pro Shops one, Red Eye Shad, Rattle Trap, all kinds of different ones in there. Just a variety of shallow and lipless crankbaits. Then, top water hard baits. This is gonna be like your poppers, your ploppers your spooks, everything like that. We got some whopper ploppers up at the top, and some poppers down here, some mega whopper ploppers, some spooks, more spooks, 
most spooks. If you guys can't tell, we love to throw spooks in the summertime on Lanier. Top water bite is awesome. Swim bait box. Not a lot in here. We've got Farley baits, two up at the top, six inch swim baits. Then this is kind of our odd swim baits, how we don't use much. There's a gliding one, and then there's a live target one. Spro four inch BBZ shad. Crushed it on the near the other day with those. They came, they were coming up schooling, and we just we threw it in and crushed it. These are some trout ones and some perch ones, some bluegill ones, and then here's a big uh, castaic shad. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's fun to throw whenever they're schooling. All right. Then we have our jerk bait box. In our jerk bait box, there's jerk baits. <laughs> It's just a variety of colors, variety of depths. Uh, we love throwing the the Spro mix stick. That's one of the good baits on the air. There's some deep ones like some striking ones. Uh, there's a Livingston lures one. That one's pretty cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it and for the jerk bait box. Next is our jig box. Keep your variety of jigs in here. They're kind of sort of from lightest and then they get heavier down here these are all of our swim jigs we've got i believe half ounce and there more half ounce and these are three eighths and then here's all of our finesse jigs they're all kind of mixed in there all right so three more boxes these are our medium to deep dive and crankbaits this are these are the kind of things we're going to throw this time of the year on linear we got some crawl ones Couple Strike King Shad ones, uh, another Strike King and an oddball brand, I don't really know. Some 5XDs, and then we got a Rapala DT16. It's a great color, a uh, great bait to throw on here. Rapala, another Rapala DT16 in the more Crawford style color. And we got some 6XDs in here, some big ones. I'm sorry, this is an 8XD, and then this is a 6XD. Here is another 8XD, a big gizzard shad color. And then we have our one and only 10XD. These are expensive baits. We never ever use baits that big, so we just kind of only keep one just in case. All right, then this is gonna be our criminal box where you're gonna keep weights, swivels, uh, Carolina rig things, stuff like that. Just got some normal bullet weights, some drop shot weights, some more drop shot weights, swivels, and then more bullet weights. And then here, these are Carolina rig keepers, some O-rings for when you're wacky rigging, and then some beads and rattles and stuff like that for a Carolina rig. Last box in this compartment is our hook box. Any kind of thing that has a hook on it that needs more on it is in here. We've got weighted swim bait hooks, a fish head spin, more fish head spins, shaky heads, more fish head spins. Uh, swim bait jig heads, uh, some football shaky heads, more shaky heads, fish head spins, wacky, weighted wacky rig hooks, uh, scrounger, and a really, really small underspin kind of deal. Ned rig hooks, Ned rig hooks, uh, wacky, weightless wacky hooks. Then in here, these are just really, really tiny, tiny drop shot hooks, and that's a variety of drop shot hooks. Treble hooks, extra wide gap hooks, more extra wide gap hooks. Uh, red hooks, that, anything from drop shot to offset worm hooks, extra wide gap hooks, and then we have our offset worm hooks right there. So that's our hook box, and that concludes it for all the tackle in here. When we are not in the boat, we keep our Mustang life jackets, the automatic uh, CO2 inflatable ones. We just keep them off at the side like that. All right, I'm going to clean this pile of boxes up, and then we'll get into the side compartment. Okay, everyone, so I just showed you that center compartment. Now we're gonna get into the left and right side. On the left side, we don't really keep much. We usually keep a spare spinning rod in here in case we're throwing a shaky head or a spy bait, something, something that's not a drop shot. We usually always have a drop shot tied on in our main ones, especially this time of the year. Uh, things like co-angler rods. Um, if we're traveling, we put the rods in here. Usually just leave this open while we're actually fishing, but when we're traveling and it's in the garage, it's open and we're traveling, it gets full. So that's pretty empty right now, not much to show you, just a odd spinning rod, nothing nothing too important. Moving on to the left, or to the right side, I'm sorry, the driver's side of the boat. 
This is always full. First thing in here is the net. It's a Ego S2 slider net. Very, very nice net. It's rubber so it won't hurt the fish. Very, very nice net, we love it. Uh, we got, excuse me, life jackets, some tools, our weighing bags. And then these two boxes have our soft plastics and I could go on for hours about what's in there, but I know it says common and rare. It's not like you find like rare soft plastics, but rare meaning we don't use these too often that time of the year. Common, we usually always keep some worms, flukes, swim baits, finesse worms, just a whole bunch of common stuff in there. And then this is the stuff that we don't really use that much. Um, so yeah, so there's that side. And then one of my favorite parts about the Skeeter Bass Boat is the day box here, which I love. Start up front, we have a scale. Uh, tournament scale, nice, you can save it to all the different numbers. And then there's coal tags that go accordingly. Here there's just some uh, some scent markers, we got a Sharpie, wacky rig tool, and then some real snot, some line and reel lube. Keep your, rod, your reels running smooth. And here, these are just knockers that'll knock a lure off of a brush pile, stuff like that. We keep four, about four of them in there. Here, this is where we keep the soft plastics that we plan on using that day. So here, there's some Zoom Tiny Flukes and Albino. That's what we're gonna put on our drop shots. Some Reaction Innovations, the little dippers. Those are what we're gonna put on our fish heads. Some Jig Trailers, some Rage Tails, and some Muda Baits. And then some Finesse Worms. And then we just keep a couple towels back here. You wipe your hands after you catch a fish, stuff like that. All right, guys, we're gonna move to the console of the boat and we'll- All right, everyone, and moving towards the back of the boat. Up front right here is where we're gonna keep our tools. We have a pair of pliers, a pair of scissors, some forceps. Then over here, we have another pair of scissors and some split ring pliers. Moving on to the console, lower end HCS 9 Gen 2 touch, just like up front. Wonderful fish finders will work awesome. Then we got our gauges, our steering wheel, the pro trim lever so you can keep your hands on the steering wheel and trim your engine while you're running. Power pull switch, all the other switches, the, the shifter, the throttle. And then we have a couple switches. Here is our Oxymax, it's the oxygenators and the live well. Dry dock switch, that's uh, there's a pump that pumps air through all of the compartments. It's a pretty cool feature. And then this switch right here is so you don't have to stick your hand in the bottom of the live well. You just close the drain, open the drain. It's a drain switch. Here, this is the passenger console. And here, this is the glove box. We keep things like glasses, the keys, fi uh, fishing license, a charger, insurance stuff, a pocket knife, just some random stuff. And then here, we're gonna keep our cold tags when we're fishing a tournament. They go with the scale that I was showing you guys earlier. They've got numbers on them. It's kind of faded, it's hard to see. They've got numbers on them and you can save the weight of the fish on the scale. You'll know exactly how much each fish weighs and it makes uh, culling very, very easy. For this is the passenger rod storage. You put the butt of your rod down there and then lay them up over here and there's a, uh, what do you call it, a tie, a tie down right here. That just goes like that and then it'll close there. Moving on to the seats. These are the standard skater seats that come with the boat. They're very beautiful, very comfortable. Here, there's a cooler here. Skeeter logo on the top. Keep, I have some extra waters down there. And yeah, so that's the whole seating and console area of the boat. Let's move on towards the back. All right guys, so we'll start off back here with the live wells, or the live well, I should say. It's one live well that's split by a, a, se it's a separator. It's kind of hard to see, but there's holes down in there. Got an oxygenator down there in the bottom. That's the drain. There's a courtesy light, and then up here, we have the recirculating pump nozzle, and then there's the fill nozzle that's just tucked up underneath there. Other side, pretty similar. We've got, once again, the oxygenator, <clears throat> the courtesy light, the overflow, and then there's that great thing I was talking about, the separator with the holes in it, so it's all the same water. Um, on top of the live well lids, we 
have the VT2 ventilation system. They are wonderful. Uh, not only do you not lose any fish, no matter what the condition is, temperature, uh, the health of the fish, whatever, they always survive. But they're they're more active once you pull them out of the live hole. They're always very feisty and very energetic. It's, it's amazing how well they work. You guys should try it out. Moving on towards these back side containers. This is where the passenger is gonna keep his tackle box and all of his tackle. You got some marker buoys, some extra rope, a fire extinguisher, and then, then this is our live well container. We're gonna keep our TH Marine G juice, which is uh, just some live well treatment that you put in there. It keeps the fish healthy, it replaces their spine coat. These are flip clips. You clip, if you catch the fish out of super deep water, instead of fizzing them, which we also have a fizz needle here, you just clip that to the bottom of their fins and it'll hold them up right and they'll just burp out the air. And then we got some towels to wipe off your hands once you pull the fish out of live well and whatnot. All right, put this up real quick. So over here, which is the, on the driver's side, it's the other container. This is, we're gonna leave this mostly open for things like clothes, if you strip off layers during the day, or uh, so we keep our gloves in here, an extra pair of rain pants, stuff like that. Courtesy lights <clears throat> in every single compartment, even the live wells on the boat. And then there's that uh, dry dock feature with the vents that uh, flows air through all of your containers. All right, one last con one last uh, compartment in the boat, which is, this is the battery one. Pop it open. So in here, we got our Minn Kota Precision Charger. We got <clears throat> four batteries, one cranking, three for the trolling motor. Bilge pumps, the battery switch. Um, those are all of our live well uh, hoses and whatnot. Pretty simple, standard. No upgrades done, it's all just standard what comes with the boat. Now, my favorite part of the boat, the Yamaha Show. This motor is the highest quality motor on the market right now. It's a four stroke, so you don't have to put oil in it like you do in a Mercury, because we all know how annoying that is and how expensive it is to buy those, you know, $40 containers of oil. You got one power pole, it's a power pole pro series two. It uh like again there's a switch right there and we have a wireless switch up with all of our tackle up there. We don't usually keep it on the boat because on the near it's pretty deep and we're not fishing shallow this time of the year, so we keep it up there. Sea Star hydraulic uh turning. Uh it's a manual jack plate, so it's not hydraulic. That's the uh dealer adjusted it perfectly. Runs great. This engine, guys. If you're in, if you're in the market for a new boat, and even if you can't afford a 20-foot boat like this, and you have like a 200 or 225, or even a smaller boat, I totally recommend Skeeter. Their boat, this boat, is designed around that engine. Whole shot is amazing. Top speed. This is a 73, 74 mile an hour boat. It, it's it's wonderful. I, I completely recommend Skeeter. Um and Yamaha outboards. So let's get into the review of the boat. Or in the, so this is a 2015 Skeeter ZX250, like I said. Uh, we bought it in 2017, in September of 2017. And it was a 2015 and the boat had four hours on it. The engine wasn't even broken in. Uh, the reason for this, you ask, well, the boat was owned for two years, how come they only put four hours on it? Well, the bank repossessed it like a week after the the dude bought it from the marina, and then it the marina just bought it off of an auction, and we came in a few days later. We saw such a good deal for a boat that only had four hours on it. Had to, we had to figure out why it was only had four hours on it, and you know we figured that out. That engine, it's it's broken in now, but like I said, it wasn't even broken in. All of the compartments, as you can see, are white they're squeaky clean there wasn't any damage done to the boat the only one complaint i have which it wasn't that big of a deal because we already had it anyways in that center compartment right there all those tackle boxes that are lined up like this the boat comes with all of them stock 
this boat didn't come with him. The dude who had the boat repossessed just apparently he kept him. He wanted to keep anything he could. So we are we had to supply our own, which really isn't that big of a deal. We already had them anyways. But that's the one thing, one complaint I have. And it's not even really a complaint. It's it's not that big of a deal. Okay everyone, thank you for watching this video. Like I said, I love my skeeter. It's it's wonderful. You guys should totally check out a skeeter if you're in the market for a new boat. Uh, please like it if you like this video. Please drop a like down below. Please comment on this video if you have anything to say. And please subscribe and click the bell. And we'll see you guys in the next one.